guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a first impression and review on Rihanna's new beauty line. It's called Fenty Beauty. It's currently being carried at Sephora and it was recently launched. Today I only picked up the foundation. So the foundation that I picked up is in the shade 290 which is medium with an olive undertone. And she released about 40 shades for this foundation, which is a lot to choose from. So this foundation claims to be medium to full coverage for all long wear, light as air. It's a pro filtered soft matte long wear foundation. So I already put it on. I'll be doing a demo in this minute. And so far it does look like I'm filtered. I did build it up to a fuller coverage. So this foundation, it comes in this glass tube. It has a frosted finish, white lid, has a very clean look to it. But for the for the lid, I feel like it's a little thin, like it's borderline flimsy, but still it's still pretty sturdy. But I think for how light it is, it just I don't know, it just feels cheap, you know? And then the foundation comes in a pump. So the price point for this foundation is $34, which is a really good price for foundation. And if you guys stay tuned, I'll be doing a demo on this, so I'll see you in a, in a second. Alright, so for the foundation, I'll do one side with a brush and then the other side with a sponge. And then for a brush today, I'll just be using a e.l.f. flat top. And then for the sponge, I'll be using Eco Tools. This side will be the brush. Really easy to blend out. Um, I think right now it's just a medium coverage with just one layer. My hyperpigmentation's covered up. You still see a little bit of a blemish. Just a little bit of my cheeks, and I think if I were to go in with another layer, it would be on the fuller side. It's set really fast. It's already powdery. And I just put this on. So you should probably work in a small area. It's like a demi matte. So it's not like a full matte. It's not shiny, but it just has that kind of natural feel. It kind of feels like I put on moisturizer, but it's not heavy. But I like the coverage, and I feel like it has its own kind of powdery finish. And just the side without any makeup on, you can see like blemishes and my hyperpigmentation. So far I'm really liking it. So now we'll do the other side with a sponge. I'm getting the same results with the sponge. I don't really see anything different on each side. You still see a little bit of my little zit right here. If we use a little bit more. That's pretty much covered up. Yeah, sponge or brush, the results gonna be the same. This is how everything looks. Alright, and then I'll just finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back to you guys in a second. Okay, so I have bronzer, blush, and highlight on right now. I'll put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes, but I did cover up everything. I mostly use it just to brighten up underneath. I think I'm going to go in with powder just because it's not a full matte finish. Like, I'm not dewy or anything. You might be seeing the highlighter I have on right now, but I don't know. I always powder my face, so it just makes sense to me. I think what I'll do is I'll bake one side of my face, and then I'll just use setting powder for the other side of my face and see how that wears throughout the day. 
So to bake, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to apply that to one side of my face with a sponge. I guess I'll just bake this eye. When I bake, I like to bring it down to my cheekbone because I have a tendency to scratch right here. For some reason, it's always itchy here. And then I'll just put on this side of my nose. Yeah. I have work later, and my workplace, we don't have a sufficient amount of air conditioners, and it gets really hot. I feel like my workplace is like the ultimate testing ground for foundation, for long wear foundation. Most of the time I lose, like my foundation would break apart on my nose because I'm sweaty. I don't blot my skin at work because I find that blotting my skin takes off my makeup and then I'll end up, and I'll go home looking a little patchy. So I just power through and if I do want to go out after work, I would just add more powder on and not take anything off. I find that works best for me. Alright. And then for the other side, I'll use my Tarte Amazonian powder, finishing powder. Pat it in on this side. And I'm just gonna sweep this out. That's the final look for this foundation. So far, it feels great. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. It blended out really easily. I was able to build up really easily without it caking. And I don't think it accentuates my pores. But it's not accentuating anything. Let's keep an eye on this. This one's fully covered right now, but you can kind of see the bump because of the highlight. We'll see if this will rub off or wear off. Alright, so it's 3 o'clock right now. I'll keep you guys posted, so I'll check back with you guys later today. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out, after using this foundation, well, I've only used a few pumps, and look at this little trail on the nozzle. Yeah, it's this is going to get dirty pretty fast since it's really liquidy. Just be sure to wipe after every use, otherwise it's just going to be a mess. Alright, all better. Okay, so I just want to show you guys how the foundation looks in natural lighting. And it looks really good. Just checking for creasing. It's creasing a little bit right here on my nose. You can see. I did put a little bit of concealer over it, so I'm not sure if it's the foundation or the concealer mixed with the foundation that's giving it a kind of creasing look, but everywhere else. And I'll check back with you guys later today. Okay, so it's been 10 hours, almost 10 hours already. It's 12.44 in the morning. Like, just looking at the foundation right now, I think it looks really good for how long I've worn it. I've noticed that it did crease around my nose. And then as far as my nose, it is still shiny. And then my forehead's a little bit dewy. And just as a reminder that I, w I baked this side of my face and then I just powdered like normal on this side. I'm not really seeing much of a difference between baking and just setting my face. So and then I had a little zit here. It's starting to peek through. I did scratch this a couple times. I think it was just like a habit of like brushing my hair back and I touched it but it's not really showing too much. You see it peeking through but it's not like popping out too much. So I'm gonna powder my nose area and then my t-zone to see how it looks being touched up because I know some foundation it tends to like separate or it looks patchy when you um, touch up. And I'm just lightly just dabbing. It looks good! Yeah! The larger parts of my pores, it's um, a little faded out. I'm assuming that's where my sweat glands are. 
But other than that, everything else stayed on. And powdering over it doesn't really make me look cakey. Alright, so for this foundation, I give it a thumbs up. I really liked it. I liked how it performed. It lasted all day on me. And nothing moved around. All my blush, bronzer, highlighter stayed on. My face is pretty much intact. Even if I didn't powder my face, I can still go about my day. Because I was dewy, not like greasy. So... I think that's really good for wearing this foundation for 10 hours with no touch-up. I recommend this if you're looking for a long wear foundation. And this is the end of my review. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.